When I mention Western Australian wines, the first thing that many people think of is Margaret River, Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon. And that's understandable. These are two varietals and a region that have really put Western Australia on the international map. But there is so much more in WA to explore and many different wine regions from the Great Southern through to the Southern Forest and Valleys, the Swan Valley, Perth Hills, Geograph. It's really worth taking the time to explore. And here at Cherubino City Cellar, there's lots on offer. So come in with me and I'll take you through a few. Cherubino City Cellar in Subiaco has wine lovers lining up for not only their Western Australian wines on offer, but a great international wine selection and some fantastic sommeliers that can guide you through the selection. They also have a great international wine club. So Clement, we have a beautiful wine in front of us. This is a Margaret River Chardonnay. Yes. It's from a producer called Cloud Burst, um, and Will Berliner, who's the winemaker and owner, is, uh, is a fascinating man. I've been That's out to the beautiful. vineyard and he's very hands-on. It's a very small vineyard. Can you tell me a little bit about what you like about this wine? I really think this Chardonnay is amazing because you've got what you expect from Margaret River wine. So something really generous and powerful but at the same time you've got the balance of the burgundy wine style. So you've got something with nice acidity and a lot of elegance. So I think it's a perfect balance between these two worlds. And what cheese would you pair with it? Oh, I would go with a semi-hard, something really fruity to go with, uh, something not as powerful as the cheese, uh, just to enjoy the both of them, yes. So we're moving on to reds now. We've yes. got a beautiful red wine, and this is from a different region. So we've moved away from Margaret River. Yes. We've gone to the southern forests and valleys mm -hmm. into Pemberton. Pemberton. And this is a special wine because it's just been released. Yes. So this is a wine that Larry has produced, and there are two standalone wines in this range on the fringe. Yeah. There's Chardonnay and a Pinot. Exactly. Two varietals that yes. do really well in Pemberton. Mm -hmm. What do you love about this wine? So as you said, the climate is really different and I think Pemberton is one of the best area in WA to do Pinot Noir because you've got something more fresh. Pinot Noir basically is a grape from Burgundy, so you've got, let's say, continental climate, so cooler climate than what you have usually in WA and Pemberton is what you have the closest of Burgundy and that's why you can do like really light, bright, clean, uh, let's say as Tasmania uh, wines, and you've got something really fresh, raspberry red currants, super easy going, smooth. That's what you're expecting from Pinot Noir. So we're staying with red wine, but we're moving region again. So we're going south to the Great Southern to a sub-region called Franklin River. Yes. It's still a little bit cooler than Margaret River um, with a beautiful diurnal swing. So you get cool nights and warmer days, which retains the acid. So this is a really elegant Shiraz. Is, yes. um, when I say Australian Shiraz, people might not expect what is in the glass here. Can you tell me what you love about the wine? I love the fact that Larry didn't go for a classic, maybe Barossa Valley Shiraz style. He's going with something more fresh. I think he has a lot of inspiration about um, European wine, and you can find this kind of Shiraz in the north of the Rhone Valley. And you've got something smoother with more acid, less syrupy, uh, definitely more elegant and more easygoing. So uh, I think I will go with some lamb shoulder, like something powerful enough. Even if the Shiraz is more gentle, still a Shiraz. We've tasted through three beautiful Western Australian wines today, three very different grape varieties and three very different regions. Now, it's well worth you coming in to taste them yourself here, along with a range of other West Australian wines. Or even better, go out there yourself and explore the regions. There really is nothing like putting your feet on the soil in a place to understand the wine in the glass.